Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me on today. So, in this video, I will be showing y'all how I hydrate box and what I use to um, moisturize them. Okay, so I've been locked now for. Um, I started my live journey February 20th of 2017. So I've been logged for over two years. About to be three years? About to be four years. Uh, <laughs> I've been locked though since um, February 20th of 2017. So that's how long I've been locked. And I'm gonna do a separate video, you know, going over how my locks have uh, changed my perception, how I maintenance them, and so many more other things. But in this particular video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I moisturize. So I haven't had a retwist in, um, in like over a month. So this is, what a month old no retwist looks like on me but I started to retwist a few in the back because I was just gonna do like some just oil twist but I stopped I only just did the back row but now it's still looking old even though I did retwist a few So let's do a length check real quick. So in the front, in the front, my hair is this uneven. Like this one is long. This one is comes to right here. This one <laughs> goes right there. And then this one there and there. The sides, they are even too. My locks aren't perfect. Like, I didn't want them to be perfect. I wanted them to be unique. You know what I mean? You know, it's cool seeing the crispy parts and, you know, the neat scalp and everything. But for me, I just wanted mine to just be unique. You know what I mean? So, I have some locks that are longer than others. I have some locks. I think I had two locks that fell out. I had to join some locks together, like, where is one that I joined together? Like this one. This one I had to join with another lock. And I just twisted the, um, the other loose lock. Like, it was split, so I just took the other lock that was when it was split and I just wrapped it to make one and then palm roll it together be like that so I got a couple that are like this like about three or four or so and then I was also thinking about you know just joining a lot of them together to make you know like thick locks so let me show you what I'm talking about. So like right here, this is two locks. It's two locks. So join these together, you know, and then that'll be one lock. And then this will be the new thickness of it. But I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but that's just a little lockness about me real quick but anyway so what I moisturize my locks with so this is the combination of do grow leave-in strengthener and then it's rose water in here it's 
regular water in here and then it's a bunch of oils in here like i have a hoba oil in here i have macadamia oil in here i have um flaxseed oil in here i have argan oil in here i have a ton of different oils in here like it's a lot of oils in here but all i do is just shake it up and just spray my hair tea tree oil in there I got rosemary oil in there I have raspberry seed oil in there like I have a lot of good stuff in there because I have dry hair anyway so I like to make sure that my hair stays hydrated at all times I got an undercut in the back too. And I've had that undercut for a long time as well. And I've been thinking like, I kind of want to grow my hair out in the back, you know, just so I won't have to keep maintenance in that, like keep getting it cut. But that would look so weird and then kind of ugly you know the back being sh way shorter than the rest of my hair and then it's going through all the different locking stages and then just keeping up I mean catching up to this length but I don't know probably won't do that so next thing I do after I moisturize it I seal it with this macadamia oil more oil <laughs> but with this I don't put it on my scalp, I just put it on my locks, just to distribute it all throughout my hair, making sure I get the ends, because the ends are the oldest part, and they be the most dry. Sure you get the edges the edges be dry too and what I do too is like like my points right here those are the thinner points in my hair so I like to rub some Jamaican black castor oil right there on my scalp to help that grow in and it's been helping and I made my own hair growth oil concoction. So I've been putting it all over my scalp too, which has been helping. And this is pretty much it, you guys. Oh, also in here is tea tree. I think I said tea tree though, but it's um, aloe vera in here as well. And uh, olive oil, avocado oil. It's just so many different oils in there. And I just rub it all through like that. And I do this every day. I do this every day, y'all. Every day. Even before bed.
and for my scalp I'm not gonna do a scalp treatment right now but this is what I'll put on my scalp it's by Mitchell it's the rosemary mint scalp hair strengthening oil infused with biotin shout out to her she's from um, Indiana where I'm from Portage she's uh, originally from Portage or lives in Portage or whatever and I'm originally from Gary so congrats to her on her business and I love the product I, that's my only product from her too I have to trust more of her products but yeah guys that is how I moisturize my locks I hope it was informative and let me know what products y'all use on y'all hair whether you have locks or not just let me know what products you're loving what products are helping you and everything like that so Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace, love.